Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next endocrine gland that is the pineal gland. So pineal gland is again another gland which is present in the brain. It is present in middle of the brain. So what are the hormones which are secreted by pineal gland? Melatonin is the hormone secreted. And what is the purpose of this hormone? It regulates the sleep-wake cycle. What do we mean by sleep-wake cycle? So here if you look at the position of pineal gland, here it is, the blue colored gland is the pineal gland. So here you see it is located almost at the middle of the brain. Now, how does it regulate the sleep-wake cycle? Before that, what do we mean by sleep-wake cycle? Have you ever felt that by the time it is night around say 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, you start feeling sleepy. Maybe you are tired, you start feeling sleepy. Now, what makes you feel sleepy? There has to be something inside your body which actually initiates that feeling of sleepiness, that initiates that feeling of drowsiness, right? Similarly, when you sleep off, when it is morning, when your alarm rings, there is something which actually wakes you up. I mean, there is something inside your body which actually wakes you up. So this feeling of sleepiness and the sensation of waking up again from sleep, this is controlled by this hormone melatonin. So pineal gland secretes this hormone which makes you getting the sensation of sleepiness during sleeping hours and again at the time of waking up you feel like waking up. So that sensation is actually created by this hormone melatonin secreted by the pineal gland. Now that we have spoken about all the glands uh, which are located in the brain that is uh, the hypothalamus, pituitary and pineal. Let us now talk about some other glands. So let us talk about thyroid gland which is somewhere located around the neck region. So its location is present at the base of the larynx. What is larynx? Larynx is the voice box. It is present around our neck and it is responsible for producing voice. So larynx contains the vocal cords which actually helps us speak. So right now I am speaking. So the sound which is being produced that is because of the larynx. So this thyroid gland is located just below the larynx. So here you can see this purple colored structure that is the thyroid. It is located just below this larynx. Two lobes on either side of trachea. So thyroid has two lobes. This is one lobe, this is another lobe. So on each, they are located one on each side of trachea. What is trachea? Trachea is nothing but the windpipe. So here you see the structure. This is the starting of trachea. So this is the location of the thyroid gland. What are the hormones that it secretes? It secretes thyroxin. And it also secretes another hormone known as calcitonin. So these are the two hormones secreted by the thyroid gland. So let us look at the functions of thyroxin and calcitonin. Thyroxin helps in cellular oxidation and it also helps in carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism. Now we all know how important cellular oxidation is for the survival of living organisms. We know our body is made up of several cells. Each cell performs oxidation to produce energy because each cell needs energy for its survival, for its growth, right? Now, as long as the cells are alive, the cells are growing, growing, the body is alive, correct? So, cellular oxidation is a very important thing which is needed for survival of living organisms. Now, this thyroxin hormone actually helps in cellular oxidation and it also metabolizes carbohydrate, proteins and fat. So thyroxine actually helps for maintaining the best balance for growth because for overall growth each of carbohydrate, protein and fats are needed in the right amounts. Now let us look at the second hormone that is the calcitonin. So what are its function? As the name suggests calci, it is something related to calcium. So it regulates the calcium and phosphate level in blood. We know Blood contains a lot of metabolites like phosphorus, calcium, many other metabolites as well, right? So calcium and phosphorus are needed for several purposes like development of bones and all. 
But when the level of calcium and phosphate increases too much, even that is harmful for the body. I mean, this is a universal statement that each and everything which is present inside the body should be present in the desired amount. It should neither be more nor should it be less. So whenever the level of calcium and phosphate increases in blood, this calcitonin hormone decreases their level. Right? So these, this was all about the thyroid gland. Let us now talk about parathyroid gland. You see, the name looks similar. So that means there has to be some close relation between thyroid gland and parathyroid gland. Actually, it is located very close to the thyroid gland. So these are, they are nothing but four small oval structures in the dorsal surface of thyroid gland. So here you can see these light pink colored two structures. They are the thyroid gland. Now in the dorsal side, dorsal means on the back side. So on the back side of each thyroid lobe, we have two oval structures called parathyroid. So here two, again here two. So these four structures are the parathyroid gland. What is the hormone secreted by parathyroid gland? It secretes a hormone called parathormone. So the name matches parathyroid secretes parathormone. So what is its function? It regulates the calcium and phosphate level in blood. So you might be wondering, just in the previous slide, we saw that even calcitonin regulates the calcium and phosphate level. So does that mean calcitonin and parathormone performs the same function? No. Calcitonin decreases the level of calcium and phosphate when their level increases in blood. Parathormone does just the opposite. What does it do? It increases the level when it go do goes down. So we can say that calcitonin and parathormone performs exact opposite. That means they have exactly opposite roles, but they both together helps to maintain the correct level of calcium and phosphate in blood. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.